<laughs> uh, better change that wording for me, guys. <laughs> uh, you know, I, I think in, in sport, we all learn the more we, we play in sport or, or anything we do that, that nothing is over until it's finally over. And you always have a chance. You can be down six love, five love, cramping, and anything can happen. Anything can happen. And you have to believe that. And, and uh, yes, things didn't look very good. They didn't look very good after the double point. Uh, but you know, until until the door is shut and locked, you're in the match. And, and I think our guys believe that. They made themselves believe that, and that's not easy to do. And they just kept. Uh, I think what Ricky said was really well said. He, asked him about the match points against him, he said and he was just playing the points and, and not thinking about the consequences of what would happen if he won the point or lost the point or anything else. And I think a true champion, which Rick is, thinks that way. And, and uh, Ryan was down a, a break in the third and, and things weren't going especially well for Ryan and he hung in there and hung in there. He's been in that situation before this year and, and uh, it takes a little guts, it takes a little luck to win a match like this, but it takes an awful lot of guts to win a match like this, and, and, uh, and keep your mind focused on what you're doing, and, and not think of the overall scheme of things, and if you do that, then you create your own problems and make it a little worse than it is, and I'm, I'm really proud of the way these guys stay focused in, in this match, but please, this is one match, I mean, yes, we want this match with beer tomorrow, but but um, it's a four-day tournament, and, and fortunately, we made it a four-day tournament, and, and uh, tomorrow is nice today. We feel good right now, but uh, right now we're thinking about tomorrow. So. It really seems to come down to my match every time. Um, I don't purposely do it like that, obviously. But, um, yeah, I mean, I've been in situations before where there's been a lot of people, maybe not this many people, but the diff that wasn't wasn't a factor. It didn't cause nerves or anything. Um, actually, I mean, just based on that, I kind of liked it because, I mean, I like people watch me play when you play number six singles you know people don't want to check all the way out to the farthest court from uh from the stadium it's just not convenient and uh
boy. Wait, Jimmy. Alright, same kind of play. Wait, Come on! Go, Jimmy! 
John. On behalf of UCLA and uh, our UCLA men's tennis team, I'd like to thank the tournament and Athens for inviting us back again. It's always a very, very exciting tournament. This competition, the young men, all 16 teams, players playing in this individual tournament, have just done such a great job during the whole year. This is what our country, what our young kids need to be doing this day and age. With all the troubles going on, I'm so proud to see them out here fighting on the tennis court, working hard, contributing to something good. We're disappointed. We set our goals for 28. We only got 27. But we'll be back next year. And we hope hosting the tournament, you'll come back and see us in UCLA. Thanks so much. of the National Championship watches to the participants of the NCAA champion, Stanford Garden. Woo!
terms of what college sports should be and can be. I, I'm so proud of my team. I'm crying, sorry. Well, number one, we're fortunate to beat a great team today. And UCLA, I, I think, is probably the best team I've seen in maybe five years. Uh, we just happened on a given day to be a little stronger. They've beaten us three times already. Uh, I, we've had good matches with them, but 
we had a chance or two on one of them, but uh, in general they beat us up, beat us up pretty pretty well. And I think it speaks really really well to the character of my players that in the tournament and all our matches actually, and especially today that they were able to step up, square off against a team that has basically owned them and owned everybody else all year and go toe to toe. And when we lost the doubles point, I, I really felt to win the match, we had to win the doubles point. Uh, in our top three singles matches against their top three, we haven't won one match out of nine in three tries. Uh, we have to do a good job down the bottom of the lineup. Uh, we didn't win the doubles point, and that puts a lot of pressure on everybody else. And to win four singles matches against a great team, we actually did that yesterday too. I think this is a tremendous compliment to my players and, and to their ability as competitors. And at the same time, uh, I also have to recognize UCLA because they have had just a great, great year. I I don't think there's ever anything that you gloat about when you are fortunate to come away with a victory. Uh, today we were fortunate; we earned it. Um, I don't. I don't think that you pay an awful lot of attention if you're a real competitor about what the odds are that you can win or not win. Um, I. I can't say that. You know, we weren't trying to break anyone's undefeated season. We weren't trying to. You know, we had no. We had no goals about anything like that, Joe. I think. You know, we were just going out and trying to play the best we could play, and if things worked out, they worked out, and if they didn't. No, they didn't. Sometimes they don't. So, I, this was certainly the last match of the year. It was uh, the most important match of all. But there was, there's certainly no kind of a, uh, at any time do we say, hey, let's redeem ourselves or anything like that. I mean, it's just another team you square off against, and, and you try to do the best you can. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> that person yeah. has a lot of confidence in me, and uh, it could have been my brother. There are about five of them out there. Really? Um, well, he's and I have played a lot of matches, and uh, they've all been tight, and uh, I don't know. I, uh, I was, uh, I was, I was pretty sure I was going to have to win for us to win the match, and uh, I was happy that I was able to do that today. It's definitely been my role. Um, I mean, we haven't won a match, like you said, on the top three courts. Uh, we're 0-9, and Waller won the first one today, and that's a great effort. Um, and uh, so since we haven't won the top three, um, four definitely, we definitely had to win four. There was no question about that. And uh, I was happy to be in that role, and I'm glad it worked out well. How much did you guys help each other out? Did you feed off of each other? I think Grant said it pretty well uh, earlier in the week. Uh, uh, he had been struggling before we got here. And uh, one of the first things he said to me was, uh, 